Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Um, it's not actually morning anymore. It's 2 o'clock, but I finally finished that thing I was talking about on yesterday's vlog mm -hmm. that was like a super important day one of the month for accounting thing. I haven't even submitted it yet. I sent it to my boss to be like, hey, can you give a slight blessing to this <laughs> before I send it off to accounting, but I feel good. She's got to learn to love this room. She hasn't laid on the ground like this yet. Oh, gosh. Timber. She's the best. Yes. Now that is living the life. This is me on my lunch break. She'll go tired of this life. It's a quote from British Showman. But she'll freak out and run away super fast and never want to talk to me for the rest of the, of the afternoon. It took all the way till 3.30 p.m. today, but I have sent the report off to accounting. It is done. Did you hear that, Sarah? I sure did. Put a comment down below if you think that Sarah should stop scrolling and I'm relax. I'm scrolling. I'm trying to post up about our video. About what? Our video, because I forgot. Sarah's notorious for, like, beginning to scroll when she, like, gets a movie going to relax, and then, like, 30 minutes go by, and she's like, darn it. I've been scrolling this whole time, not even enjoying relaxing. Yeah. So relax. And it's already 3.30, which means I only have an hour and a half left of work. You relax. Get ready for this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Starlight, star bright, first star I I don't think we've listened to that like since. We used to have it in our car. I don't think we've listened to it since it's been gone. We have. We have? Yeah. It's it, been gone a long time. I know. I feel like we haven't listened to it at least in a year. Yeah. So I thought that was going to be more enjoyable slash torturous at the same time. <laughs> also, tough life this creature lives. Okay, Sarah finally watched this movie that we don't watch all the time because we just don't. But the credits song is by Brad Paisley. Look it up. You hear that, guys? She just called you some Brit. Classic. This is quite honestly, I think it's my favorite Pixar short ever. Me too. Next to Luna. Maybe. La Luna. La Luna. Don't even know the name. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. Evie and me are gonna go outside. I'm gonna go on a walk, and Peter is going to go on a run. Well, the festivities begin. We're gonna uh, fry some pickles. Fry some pickles up, like we're little southern bells. I recently took a test that was like, how southern are you? And I was really southern, because it was a lot about food. So I think she's maybe waiting for Peter, because we got outside and she refuses to walk. I want some fresh air though, so I'm just sitting down. He's a crazy little dog. Went for a sunny run today. Look at this. So this is the Winter Park Public Golf Course. So beautiful. I run past this whenever I go on my runs. It's kind of creepy at night. Kind of goosebump style. During the day, it's just playing party. I, uh, I need to get back, even though we're inside. I need to get back to eating and drinking, more importantly, drinking properly to go on my, to start doing this training. I'm gonna be doing high mileage every week. Um, so I forget that I need to get, especially with the temperature rising, I need to get back to drinking, you know, like at least my eight cups of water a day. But I gotta tell myself to hydrate, like remind myself, hydration doesn't come in one day. Like you're not gonna drink a bunch of water on Thursday morning and be like, you're not gonna fully feel that on your run Thursday. You gotta drink good amount of water and electrolytes whenever you're using those electrolytes every day. Even on your off days from running, you gotta keep the hydration up because that stores in your body. But when you do go run, well, I'm no doctor, dietitian, or scientist. Well, I think, I think literally I'm a computer scientist by definition. Anyway, I digress. I get back to running and go home. Okay, we got 
specialty, Sarah's special um, potato wedges. I don't know why. I, these are my jam. This is actually our last potato. Um, but this is a quick snack. Peter just got back from his run. I wanted something quick, ready to eat. They aren't 100% done, um, but right when Peter's out. But then we're gonna do the frying and we're going to, sweaty, um, have the soup and that's something that will just heat up. But at least we'll have the potato wedges right when you get out to Drink matcha. water. Also, Drink all we water. have McDonald's barbecue sauce and I can't wait to dip the potato wedges in the barbecue sauce. I kind of want to shave my face because it's a little control I have because I can't get my hair cut. And my hair's getting out. I feel like your hair is like it was in high school. It's get by the time this is over, it's gonna be. <gasps> Fresh. I'm me again. <laughs> I feel like it was messing with my mind mentally more than I I realized. And I think I just realized that like you just gotta people try are it weird out. Weird people. Yeah, I got a hat on because I'm not doing my hair. It's too late to do my hair. But I feel so good. We are going to fry some pickles up. I'm not going to do step by step because this is my first time doing it and I don't know how well it's going to go, but I'll link the recipe that we followed below. Got our batter. We use beer instead of the soda water, so that'll be interesting. Got a little kick to it. Yeah. Got we have our oil, oil heating. And I dried the pickles. You have to just make sure they're not dripping wet. So they. They get the, the binding stuck to them good. Oh, so it begins. I'm nervous. I gotta tell you we're going. I ran two extra miles knowing that we were gonna be doing. How long did you run? Six miles. Nice. Knowing that we were gonna deep fry some pickles. That was good already. Wow. Professional. All right, here we go. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Trying to put my finger on what it tastes like. Tastes like a fried pickle? Delicious. We got potato leek soup. I spunked it up with buffalo sauce. And pickles. What a nutritious meal. <laughs> <laughs> so, overall, pickles were yummy. Definitely made a lot. We saved the batter. I don't know how well it's going to keep, but <laughs> Peter ate a lot more pickles than I did. <laughs> and we need a cleanse. I need um, charcoal tablets in my bed. We used olive oil, so we definitely recommend using vegetable oil because it kind of overpowered the flavor a little bit slash I might add more to the batter next time. But overall, satisfied our need for fried pickles. And we love the spears more than the chips. Yeah. We're always been spear people. You get more pickle flavor with the spear. What? All I want to do is go get ice cream. I wish we just had stocked up on ice cream when the time was right. So does she. She has ice cream in the freezer. She doesn't know that. The window's cracked so she's having the time of her life. Smelling all the smells. Looking at all the people not walking past. I thought I heard a snake in the grass today. I heard a snake in the trees earlier on my <laughs> run. Yeah. The slither on your neck. <laughs> Sarah and I were losing it today. <laughs> what time is it? It's like 10? Eve just brought me. 10.30. Her chicken. This is her chicken. She loves it. I think tomorrow or the next day we're gonna watch The Banker on Apple TV Plus. We just watched the trailer, it looks really good, but right now we're not in a state of mind like watch a full on new movie. We're trying to look for mindlessness a little bit. See, she loves her chicken. Great British, British baking show? Oh, I don't want that kind of mindless. She 
just runs underneath the table. <laughs> Alright, we found something we're gonna watch. It's a new one on Netflix called How to Fix a Drug Scandal, but you have to see at least part of this trailer that I just saw, and I only watched half of it, and Sarah hasn't seen any of it yet. Check this out. It's it's a new Apple TV... I don't know if it's a show or a movie, but it's coming on April 17th, right as uh, Earth Day comes. Welcome to planet Earth. There is much to see and do here, so let's get started with a quick tour. It's so great. It's called Here We Are. Look at the trailer. We'll put a link down to the trailer down below because it is... Beautiful. Absolutely Funny. beautiful. And it comes out oh, April so. 17th, I think, on Apple TV+. Plus. I forget that like we have a year of Apple TV+, Plus, and we have to start using it. Haven't you already had your phone for a year? It was it, We got it when I replaced my phone when I broke it with the water. Look at that. April 2nd. Today's quote was a big one. By Anonymous. Minimalist mantra. Stop buying the unnecessary. Toss half your stuff. Learn contentness. Reduce half again. List four essential things in your life. Do these first. Stop doing the non-essential. Clear distractions. Focus on each moment. Let go of attachment to doing, having more. Fall in love with less. Well, that was nice. You guys know we love that minimalist, simplistic life. Um, Another calm day here, but had a good run. The end's in sight for these shots to be done with Sarah, and it's gonna be great when we don't have to take those. We're less than, I think, I think we might actually be two weeks from today we'll be done taking shots. I forgot if it, was, if it got moved to the 13th or the 16th. Either way, we're very, very close, and I cannot wait to be done with them. So there's a trooper for going through it. It's all gonna be worth it. It was 2.15 in the morning, and I'm not tired. I don't know what my deal is, but I've been battling some mad insomnia for the past couple of nights. Um, so I'm going to attempt to go to bed. I'm going to get Eve and get Sarah, and we're going to go to bed. The windows are still open because a cold front came through. It's probably like 63 outside. So we've got the windows cracked all day. The fans are going, keeping that fresh breeze in here. I digress. We love you guys. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.